you are highly welcome to Mr. Easy Gist TV. Breaking news. The vote of United State of Bia France has begun. Hear the news in details. My wonderful people of Bia France, lovers of freedom and the freedom fighters, we all come back to a noble channel who drop up the back to back. Ah, yes. To making sure you have been updated on the information that is coming from Biafra, the public in Ezra. Let's go to the reason why we are here. Hmm. Amu then say the vote of United States of Biafra don't start to. Hmm. Amu, yes, the update is reaching out directly from our Prime Minister. Yes, this evening broadcast where they are dropping it. Say, hmm, finally, they say Biafra don't they prepare on how to go and how you say what it happen and how it take how is it going to go now the update reach your table say um the vote has begun yours yes so the vote has begun in free land and uh, the meet will be held soon um for the declaration of biafra united states so that's how the update reaching us but um before we go further <laughs> our uh biafra liberation army don't drop update on what they happen or oh, mm. Them say that uh, they know well again, say as they deal like this now, <laughs> they are now monster in human form. Now we said, wait till the beginning of that proverb. They now say <laughs> that they are not a guy who is normal man being, no. yes, that uh, they are now that you can see them as a normal man being. But the way things are going now, they are not behaving like a normal man being again. Now we said, wait till it happen. <laughs> now they say that 370 head of Nigeria army don't go down. Oh, <laughs> it means say they have sent 317 head uh, soldiers, Nigeria uh, soldiers to judgment. Now we said, wait till be this. Say God to not allow them. Men and killers. I'm um, let's even read from the updates will come from their social handle, their Twitter social handle. Yeah, so before we can able to get the information. Um, let me read. He said, uh, Freedom Fighters is not a gentleman or responsible man's business. He said, It is for those who are born mad, <laughs> but be that, and uh, we are mad already. Hmm. He said, Forget the fact that we may appear to look normal to you. Believe we are, we are very angry. Result from commanders is. 317 head has been sent to judgment. <laughs> I don't hear them. It said 317 head of Nigeria uh, uh, forces have been sent to judgment. May they go greet their mama and their papa. We don't need their sins. Now, so the update, they reach our table. Uh, let's go back to the main reason why we are here. Yes, yeah, so where our leader was passing a declaration and uh, passing a vote on how Biafra will be declared in 2024. Let's watch the videos and we'll be back to analyze it. And uh, please, in case you are not subscribed, we could do that too, so that the next time we are dropping updates, you can be participating on the, the latest gist. Yeah, so, so let's watch the video. Good afternoon, every Biafra. Good afternoon, lovers of freedom. Good afternoon, friends of Biafra all over the world listening through this X space. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press, the haters of Biafra people, the enemies that are here to listen to me, especially now that a date has been scheduled for the kick off of the Biafra self-referendum starting February 2024. I welcome every one of you as we are moving without distraction. We are moving without distraction. And I want every one of you who have suffered for decades and years in bringing the Biafra struggle to the liberation stage, I give kudos to you. I give kudos to those who survived the bullet of the enemy up to this point, I also give kudos to the spirit of those who have paid the ultimate price for the freedom of Biafra. We are bringing this particular subjugation to a conclusive end very soon. Finally, the exodus has begun. Remember, 
We are no longer making broadcast. We have broadcasted, shouted on social media for years. It is time we are taking the bull by its horn. And Biafra is here. From the first day of February 2024, the Biafra historic, life changing, liberation, and self referendum will kick start, which is a few days from now. How many days do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, exactly fourteen days from today. The history will start. Fourteen days from today. On the first day of February, Biafra will start first ever in the history of our life, first ever self-referendum digital voting everybody must start making preparation to make sure your family your friends who are citizens of their friends who identify themselves as their friends have the opportunity to vote and participate in the voting our target is to make sure that over 20 million Biafrans will vote for this self-referendum. This voting, early voting, and the advanced voting will last as long as possible. It is going to be more of accreditation. It takes the zoo terrorist government many months to register for voters' card. We, as the government in exile have already started from an advanced level to show you when we say Biafra rule this world, it is happening and we are demonstrating it. The ideas of Biafrans all over the world, professionals doing wonders in their various endeavors have come together and that's why the Biafra government is a government like no other government in exile, not in the past, not in the present, and not in after Biafra declaration. This government has done more than what an independent country cannot do. We have been able to successfully build database for Biafra government Nigeria do not have it. Many African countries do not have it. We are now adopting the latest technology to conduct the very first ever in the history digital voting in self-referendum. No country has done it. It is the level of the professionalism that we have displayed and showed in the leadership of government in exile. So this afternoon, my fellow Biafrans, I have come to break the news to the Thomas, the doubting Thomas, to those who said, Easter Simonetta will bring Biafra, let Biafra not come. Tell them to go and start digging their grave. To those who say, Easter Simonetta will bring Biafra, they will die. Tell them to go and start getting their casket. Because you see, that Biafra is here, not that it is coming. It is here. Voting has started. We have outsmarted, outsmarted Nigeria, outsmarted the Janjaweed, outsmarted the most corrupt country called Nigeria. We have outsmarted the terrorist and Islamic State called Nigeria, and they can never, ever, ever see our back. We have shown them that. You have to fear the Afro people. After this year, anything Nigeria will fear the Afro. After this year, the hatred 
on Biafra people will skyrocket times 100. After this year, they will fear anybody that call himself a Biafra. After this year, Biafra name will be used to deliver evil people from evil spirit. After this year, anywhere you go as a Biafra, you will be respected. Because what we are going to do to Nigeria and to their enablers will be beyond human comprehension. The fight for the survival of the Biafra people lies in their hands, not in the hand of anybody. Our survival lies in our hand. It is us that are going to protect us, not anybody. The security of the life and properties of the Biafra people lies in their hands. The security of our children, our mothers, our women, and vulnerable people lies on our hands, not in the hands of Nigeria, not in the hand of anybody, not in the hand of the Britain, not in the hand of America. It is in our hands. And I tell you, the Biafra government has come to take that responsibility to make sure that our security lies in our hand. Government of Biafra will be there 247 to give protection and security to Biafra people. They will be expecting field work for Biafra referendum. A lot of people will be expecting our men to be walking from one street to another to conduct referendum. We have outsmarted them. In the next coming State of the Nation broadcast, the world will know how far we have gone. So, my people, it is no longer propaganda that they are propagating against the Afro government in exile. It is no longer propaganda about uh, Simon Akpa is Nigeria agent. Those propaganda has faded away. If you are a Biafra who have joined the struggle since 1999, when it was started, and you are still alive today, you should go and thank your God. You made it. After all, you made it. The button to this relay has been moving from hand, and this is the last leg. You made it. A lot of people, many of your colleagues, died on the way why they were running the race of the freedom with you. Some of you cannot longer remember even some of your friends that were killed in war. Some of you butchered. Some of you killed during the time of the census. From Wazurike down to Awonian Dumazen and Mikano, down to this criminal DOS Nigeria uh, IPOB, immediately he was kidnapped in 2021. A lot of men were slaughtered and many of you made it alive. Many of you went spiritually to consult the oracles of Biafra land about Simon Epa. And because of your wiseness, you did that. An oracle told you, you see Simon Epa, follow him. He's bringing Biafra. Many people do not understand why those commanders of the ESN in those days turned their back on the IPOB Nigeria and followed a nobody. Simon Ekba, according to them. Many people do not understand this. They went spiritual to consult the gods of the land. 
because these are the people who were genuinely fighting for Biafra freedom. It is not about building a cultic kingdom that we have destroyed today. It is not about using IDOB to build secret society, which we have destroyed today. Biafra people will know in due time what God has used us to do in our land. These criminals were building a very dangerous occultic and secret society in the name of freedom fighting. We destroyed it. I will write a book. I am saying this because the struggle is coming to a conclusive end. As the declaration is coming very close and the voting of the self-referendum voting will start in 14 days time. It is time to write the history and the stories what transpired since 2021. The story and the book that I will write as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, what I saw and what God used me to conquer will shock the world. And the people involved will be held responsible because these are proof. Human beings that are involved are still alive to attest to what I have seen. Many people who have followed me have seen it especially those in the security sector of this movement. These people were killing commanders, cutting off their head, giving it to a Jofo and a Marugugu. Many people don't know this. Some people who hoisted flag during the time we hosted our flag, these DOS criminals kidnapped some of them and killed them. For hosting Biafra flag in Biafra land, they did not steal, they did not kidnap anybody, they did not commit any crime. The only crime they committed is that they, host, they hoisted flag. How many of you remember when we hosted flag? It was spiritual. We wanted to invoke the spirit of Biafra against all the betrayers and the enemies. Invoking the spirit to possess every cranny of Biafra land. Biafra flag was raised in 2022. DOS kidnapped some of the people that hoisted this flag and killed them. Not Nigeria army. Not Nigeria police. But you know, this was targeted at distracting what we are doing. It was targeted at igniting internal war. I ignored all of them. I focused on the enemy, which is the Nigeria government. They did everything to provoke me to start internal war so that we are going to be distracted from the freedom movement. I ignored all of them because I have template. Now, template is the highest secret oath. Don't deviate. Focus and put your eye on the ball, no matter what happened. They have killed even those who were very close to me. They killed them. thinking that after that, I would declare war, internal war against them. I have not done that. The people have declared this internal war, or if there is any war, continue to remain the security criminal. Those who call themselves criminal security forces are the people that our arms are against. And the family of those they killed. Will also speak to Biafra people in due time. These are live witnesses 
family of those people that these criminals have killed in this struggle you are fighting for biafra and killing people fighting for biafra because they followed simon Epa and followed autopilot he killed them biafra don't know what has happened in this struggle but i'm sharing this particular tip today because the road is clear and we can see the light and the end of the tunnel that's why i'm making this you know making this particular statement because biafra is here i have seen it and when i told you i know the date biafra will come they doubted me They use propaganda, thinking that it is propaganda that you used to fight freedom. They say we counted 150 days. Biafra did not come. They say we say Biafra is going to come in 2023. Biafra did not come. These are people without vision. People that doesn't know their left and their right. They started using den gun, going to bushes to start shooting animals. In the name of uh, chasing Fulani. We are not chasing any ethnic group from our land. I have made it very clear. If you go after ethnic group, you become a terrorist. We are not going after ethnic groups. Our, we are going after the terrorist army, police army, every Nigeria forces that carries gun. That is the people we are going after. Because once you go after them, you have uprooted the people in the bush. If you go after ethnic group in the name of Fatih Fulani, you are a terrorist. This is the international law that many idiots don't know. If you go after Fulani in the forest, in the name of fighting terrorism, we know that they are terrorists, but you cannot go after ethnic group, labeling them terrorists, you are a terrorist. We are going after the security criminal and terrorist forces who give them back up.